So there is a new viral trend going on TikTok and it's called under consumption court. It's all about living with less stuff. Instead of constantly buying new things, people are focusing on the items they already have and they're finding the happiness and just being a simple, regular person. In this under consumption trend, we see people showing how they reuse items, how they're avoiding waste and just being more minimalistic in general. And if you understand the over consumption trend that was going on on TikTok, this is just like the polar opposite because now we finally have people on TikTok being mindful of what they consume. The reason why the under consumption consumption trend is becoming so popular is because people are tired. They tired of being sold stuff. Viral, viral. They're tired of always being pressured into buying more. This viral chair, this viral hack, this viral product, this is what I want you need to be viral. Everything is expensive. And it just finally makes sense to save money and do what your pockets can afford. And that might mean just using what you already have because you probably don't need to run out and go buy all these things. Anyway, while I love that everybody is being less wasteful and this trend could also inspire a lot of people to not overconsume, I do have my personal issues with this trend. Now you may be wondering, what problem could I possibly have with a trend that seems so positive? Before I get too deep into what my issues are with the underconsumption trend, I want to discuss the four types of different people I have seen within this trend. The first type of person that I see participating in this underconsumption trend is the one that is participating due to social class, and they are forced to underconsume because they do not have the resources in order to overconsume. The second type of person that I've seen in this underconsumption trend is the person who chooses to participate because they value under consumption and conscious spending. This is their lifestyle by choice. They do not want to buy unnecessary things. The third type of person I'm seeing in this under consumption trend are posers, imposters, and people who are infiltrating for views, clout, and attention. These are people who are giving you the illusion that they truly under consume, but they really don't in real life. And they do not want to be left out. The fourth type of person is the person that is here to make fun of the under consumption trend. These are typically the people we see who over consume and are making a mockery of the people who are taking part in the underconsumption trend. The first big problem I started to notice upon doing my research for this trend is that some of y'all really needed to be told. You needed to be molded. You needed to be coached into actually consuming the products that you went out and bought. You needed a trend, a core to tell you that you didn't need to keep going out and doing the absolute most. This is concerning because what else y'all gotta wait for to do what's best for you? Biggie said a brain was a terrible thing to wait. I know for some of y'all, it absolutely hurts to use your brain. It actually gives you a headache. I'm not trying to be funny because I, I talked to somebody and they told me it hurt them to think about something I asked them. It's real. But I need for your own good, for you not to have to wait for trends to tell you how to be, what to be, <laughs> how to live, what to think. I just need y'all to be you. How hard is it? And then y'all hop on this trend. And it's like, y'all, I don't want to sound like I'm hating, but I'm like, I'm hating. Like, I'm annoyed, low key. Cause it's like, I like it for the people who live this life. Like, don't get me wrong. This is great. Like, I'm glad that they get to actually show their thrifted multicolored towels, their old pots. This is normal to most of us. Everything on social media is just like, people want to show it off as picture perfect. But to be totally honest, a lot of these people are living very similar to you and they have normal things going on in their house. They got leaks. They drive an old beat up car. But you have to remember as somebody watching somebody online, and I don't care who you watch, you'll never get the full story of what their life is really like in person. I don't care if they vlog all day, every day. You only really know what they show you. Because of that, a lot of y'all bought into the overconsumption trend. And y'all went out trying to be content creators, trying to do hauls, trying to do stuff you've seen the influencers doing. And now you ended up with all this stuff. Some of y'all went and ran it up on your credit cards and now it took a trend to the polar opposite of what they told you what they sold to you to do for you to say oh I'm sick I shouldn't have done that I'm 50 50 y'all I'm 50 50 because while I'm glad that this trend has come to wake you up I also am like you don't need somebody on TikTok to do a trend for you to wake up to the fact that you're spending your real money and being wasteful I didn't think somebody needed to be told to use what they had 
I didn't think that was going to ever be something that was like held on some sort of pedestal. I thought it was normal to do a lot of the things that normal people do. But y'all turn this into an aesthetic and you turn everything online into an aesthetic. And it's really annoying to the people who live this normal type of lifestyle because y'all are walking around the world asking people what their aesthetic is and you're waiting for them to say under consumption core. What? People like me are looking at you like, people are like, this is my real life. This ain't no core. This ain't no trend. I don't just take this off at the end of the day. It's kind of like me being black. I'm gonna go there. I can't take off being black. I'm black no matter where I go. And I've been all over the world. And no matter where I go, I'm black. I'm not confused to be nothing else when I walk in a room. I am black. And in my opinion, a lot of y'all are one foot in and one foot out of this trend because you can. Do you get what I'm saying? A lot of y'all have the privilege to be one foot in and one foot out of a trend because you can just show what you want your viewers to see. And that's it. I appreciate this content creator here because even though this is probably meant to be a joke, this is some of the extremes that people that truly want to be included will go to in order to be seen, to be included, and to ride whatever wave is currently popular in society, even if it's unauthentic, for personal gain. As long as you get the people to be like, oh yeah, me too. Like people don't get much deeper than that. They just believe everything they see online. You gonna get a close-up shot of somebody showing you a, a one little raggedy purse and then behind the scenes they got 20 purses in their closet like do y'all realize that's what's really going on they gonna show you the raggedy towels and then meanwhile they're hoarding something else they're hoarding sephora stuff they gonna show you the raggedy towels in the closet like yeah that's great i can participate and be involved in like kumbaya with the people who live this sort of lifestyle but behind the scenes you really collect other things that that person don't even have the opportunity or the choice to collect and you're coming into the space just showing one little bit of your life and then the people online are eating it up because they're little dense they're little they're little dense and i'm sorry if that offends some of y'all, but that's the truth. A lot of y'all are a little dense and whatever somebody showed y'all, that's it. That's the end of the story. I'm not going for all of this. Oh, everybody all of a sudden got one pair of shoes that they wearing and a dusty purse. I'm not going for it. There are some people who do. There are people who do not care what none of y'all got to say, but those people, you know that those people are real because no matter what trend is popping, that person is like that all the time. They don't switch up because something's popular online, but some of y'all switch up every time something's popular y'all just wanted to be mob bosses now you want to be frugal you want to overconsume. you want to go to the forest and pick your plants and you want to forge and now you want to forge for mushrooms talking about under consumption news to me like now all of a sudden it's cool to collect grocery bags from the grocery store and hoard it in the pantry you mean to tell me that that's now normal <laughs> you mean to tell me when you go out to eat now it's trending to take the recyclable you know the little bowls and stuff they give you and wash them and put them away you mean to tell me <laughs> them butter jars that my mom used to have it's okay to put leftovers in them well who would have known it's cool do y'all get this is how some people live this ain't no trend it was perfectly fine and people were perfectly fine with not going out and spending their money but golly y'all turn these things into a trend because you want to market i don't know how y'all are going to market this but it's going to be marketed <laughs> and some of y'all already are already promoting the products you need in order to be part of the under consumption core because they're going to tell you you need to have a good bag you just need one good bag this is how they get y'all they get y'all every Every time because y'all can't see past the sale pitch y'all this is after i done recorded the video and i just found this lady's clip it says when you see under consumption core is trending but remember when minimalism was hot and everybody went out and bought all the new stuff to achieve the look this is what i'm trying to say somebody here gets it she gets it she sees the play this is the play oh i got this one little item now y'all gonna go up and buy up all the mason jars because now y'all all finna be like oh i use mason jars and i do this and i do that and you're still buying stuff some of y'all are gonna go out to the goodwill to go get some towels or go to the thrift store or whatever and you're gonna go spend just to participate because you now just want to be a part of something so bad they're gonna find a way to market to you i don't care i don't care i don't care it's going to happen. That's what a trend is for. If it wasn't marketable, it wouldn't exist. Warning, under consumption sales pitch in three, two, one. 
think that under consumption is a trend now because I can talk about this. It makes me livid how many categories are here. Most of these are the same ingredients, just different packaging. They're literally scamming us, making us think that we need different products for all of our beauty problems. What they do not want us to know is that a single ingredient like this can address most of our beauty problems. You don't need a different hair serum, lash serum, lip serum, hand serum. This Moroccan beauty potion can make your hair grow, brows grow, lashes grow, make your lips plump, clear your skin, make it radiant, make your body shine and glow, make your nails stronger. Only travel with this because it's just all your beauty products in one. It's a miraculous argan oil. Throw away all your body hair and skincare and replace it with this. You'll get better results. I like people living normal life. I really do. I like all levels of people not having to be rich, whatever that may mean, because there are people that do not have everything that the people who have all these resources have and they are grateful for stuff and it's a beautiful thing to have gratitude for whatever it is that you have even if you don't have a lot i love that aspect of this trend but i feel like a lot of y'all are posers and i can't expect posers not to come for a trend people who live this life don't need it to be something popular on tiktok because this is their way of life it's a trend now if we look up the actual definition of a trend it's a general direction in which something is developing or changing it's a fashion or an application within a short period of time and what this means to me is it ain't gonna last very long the truth about this under consumption trend is people were jumping in this trend because it's hot and they gonna jump out when it's not the minute that something new comes along, they gonna be right on to that. But if you're telling me your favorite influencer or the girl that we seen last week doing a whole bunch of hauls is participating in this trend, trying to sell you under consumption and you're really going for it. What? <laughs> Some of y'all are trying to lie to kick it. Like y'all thirsty out there trying to just participate like wilding for likes. You just can't miss a trend. But, <laughs> but there are other content creators that are like actually making a mockery of the trend. They're showing their purses and then they're like, oh, you know, I only wear the same purse. And then meanwhile, they got all these purses in the background or whatever item it is that they showing off. They show one like, oh, I'm really under consuming, but really I got 10 more in the back. And again, I know it's just all jokes, but for some people that have no choice but to have one purse or to have one pair of shoes or whatever the case may be, it, I don't know, it just kind of feels like they're the butt of the joke because they don't have these items. And maybe that might be a stretch, but that's just kind of how I feel. And also in a lot of those videos, even though it might just be a joke, you know, your, your privilege is showing like, hello. <laughs> The people who have the privilege in order to overconsume came into the underconsumption trend and they kind of like made fun of it. Is it funny to people who can't overconsume because they don't have the resources? I do think that we are seeing some accurate depictions of underconsumption in this trend. And I love that whatever life you live that's perfectly fine but when you try to like get into these trends because you just want to participate and you just can't be left out that is really annoying it like really grinds my gears some of y'all just can't do what you want to do you got to follow trends and that's why i don't really that's why i'm like i'm like 50 50 on this trend i love it for the people who really live that life like i love that y'all are getting your moment but y'all are being infiltrated by imposters who do not live this life they over here putting their stuff to the side they coming up with stories from a life they ain't never lived because <laughs> they want to be like you because being like you right now is the popular in thing to be really everybody just need to be themselves i want to see everybody stop going to all these extremes we didn't need overconsumption. i don't even know why that was a thing like who told y'all it was okay to just hoard all this stuff in a room and don't never use it and just collect it and then show it on tiktok that was already too much and the underconsumption trend i'm not saying this is what it is but even some people are like oh this is just regular living and though i don't see nothing wrong with the underconsumption trend to be totally honest with you for the ones that are real about it that's really living that life i don't really see nothing wrong with that but underconsumption also signals that it's under average so you got over then you got under consumption and i'm like where is the middle ground we don't have to always go to the far left or to the far right to be regular like where is the regular content and that's another one of my problems with both of these trends in a way not really the under consumption one because that's a little different but really we want something in the middle we don't want over we don't want under we want in the middle that's kind of what i think doesn't get pushed out on tiktok because y'all don't want regular y'all either want extreme like y'all either want like the person only have a mattress in the room 
They need to go out and forage for their herbs, their berries. People in the comments breaking down the types of level of underconsumption someone's doing. And they're like, oh, you ain't really doing it right. Oh, you're just living regular. Like, what do y'all want? Here's an example of somebody trying to show their example of what they consider under consumption core. And if you look in the comments, someone says, hey, so this is just normal consumption. Hope this helps. That's not under consumption. This is normal consumption. This is not normal consumption. It's just a lot of back and forth about is this under consumption or is it not? And a lot of people would argue that this is under consumption because this isn't even a lot of products. If that person comes out and they're just wrecked like a regular person, maybe not over consuming, maybe not under consuming, but just regularly going out, getting items when they need it. I wouldn't consider that under consumption, but y'all aren't bigging that up. That's not part of the trend. Is under consumption really just normal consumption? Because y'all are saying like using the stuff you already got. Well, I use the stuff I got, but do I think that I'm under consuming? No, I think honestly, I'm just living my life and not going out and buying a bunch of stuff I don't need. But then there's like the people on TikTok like, oh no, that's regular consumption. It's like, what? <laughs> <laughs> it's just a lot. Seems like everybody has their own little definition of it. So the one I gave you in the beginning, that's pretty much the consensus I got. But to me, this just sounds like a regular person with regular money, not overdoing stuff. And I didn't even think that that needed a name, but nowadays everything needs a name and it needs an aesthetic. I don't know why it's like this, but it's really annoying. I wish I would stop. I wish like, take it back, stop it. <laughs> What's crazy is people are trying to aestheticize people's actual lives and they're like, oh, it's a trend. I must participate. How do I become an under consumer? How do I participate in under consumption? And y'all aren't really doing it because you truly want to under consume. You're doing it because it's a trend and we're going to see your video pop up and talk about how you're just so sick of all of the products that you've been hoarding. And this was the eye-opening moment. Like if that was like honestly your thing, I'm honestly happy because that means you probably won't be in these stores spending up all of your money on stuff you don't need because we already have a problem with consumerism in the United States. But while I think this is a good trend for people that have that issue, if it's not permanent and it's not long-term and the next trend that comes out, if they tell y'all to go to Sephora and buy up the block, and you're going to do it because you need the blueprint on how to do that too so you can participate. That's the part that's scary for me really is that a lot of y'all don't have a mind of your own. You don't have a personality of your own. And you're waiting for TikTok trends for you to do what's best for you. Y'all live your own lives every single day. I'm not in it. You're living the life and the stuff that you was getting jiggy with just last week or two weeks ago. I need some of y'all to turn on your thinking cap and think for yourself. Because if you really stopped and just critically thought, you probably would have told yourself a long time ago that this ain't really something you wanted to do. Maybe it was a thought put into your head by somebody else. I don't know. Advertisers, influencers to overconsume in the first place. And now once again, advertisers, influencers are telling you it's not cool to do those things. So you jump ship and now you're onto this trend. And yes, you are an imposter, but it is benefiting you at least in your wallet, which I'm happy about. Don't get me wrong. My point is you didn't originally have the thought by yourself. So the next thing that comes up, I worry that you'll do the same thing. I challenge the people on TikTok to uplift regular people. Stop with all this overdoing it, underdoing it. You got to do it like this for me to watch you like what about the regular people? What about the people who just in the middle? Where 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 is the trend for them? And it don't need to be a trend because again, this is somebody's lifestyle. But y'all don't uplift those people. Y'all don't uplift the normal people because it's not exciting. They're too bland. They're too normal. They're too in the middle. Y'all have to have extremes for you to even pay attention. And it's really sad that it's like that. And this is why people go to these extremes to follow these trends because y'all don't respect or pay attention to anything that's just normal. That's basic. And there's nothing wrong with being normal or basic but that's not the stuff that y'all uplift and what's crazy is normal is what most of you really are most of y'all would act like normal people like a regular person if you weren't so easily influenced it would be cool to be normal we have to start making better decisions in order to have a better future